What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group, and we're back here again at Dell Webb at Lake Las Vegas. I'm pretty excited to show you this Tifton Walk. Really, when I first passed by it, it just had a beautiful exterior. Let's take a closer look. Now this is a three bedroom, two bath, has an oversized two car garage, 1,920 square feet. Today's starting price is $480,990. And take a look at that upgraded garage. What a heavy glass door. This is an eight foot modern door and beautiful. Love that frost on it. Elegantly modern coach lighting, stack stone all around. You do have a couple elevation choices to choose from out here. Here's your outdoor courtyard. You will get paver stones included in your driveway. This is the model, so they got them beautifully landscaped, but unfortunately no driveways to look at. It's about 110 degrees here, just as hot as the Vegas market. Here is your porch LED upgraded modern door. Let's head inside. Now welcome to the Tifton Walk. What a beautiful entry. As soon as you come in, you have your gathering room kitchen area cafe area and these homes are beautifully designed fully upgraded now here in the gathering room it's about 12 4 by 19 4 square feet you got options for floor outlets interior fireplaces sliding glass doors tons of audio video and electrical they've got they've got the six pack of can lights the modern fan beautiful modern windows feature wall what a gorgeous living area. I just want to take a step down and show you these tiles on the floor. These are 12 by 36 upgraded tiles. Nice luxury tile. And look at that slide, eight foot, so beautiful. And you got matching ones on each side. That's one thing I love about these Pulte homes, how they just pull it together. Now here in the kitchen, they've got the reverse tray ceiling. LED lighting, pendant lights. If we come down to the island, you got the waterfall edge, upgraded island, culinary kitchen. Now look at these cabinets. These are 36 inch with the uppers in the modern crown. So beautiful. Wow. Take a closer look at this quartz on this waterfall edge. Very nice. A few little veins in between. Has a Marisink stainless undermount, gooseneck hardware, and this is the color I like. Got this nice dark hardware. Now this one doesn't have the pool like a lot of them do. Take a step down below. More of the aluminum cabinetry. What a beautiful upgrade. S undermount glide, super soft clothes. So gorgeous, what do you think? That's gotta be an expensive option. If you've seen the Pulte options list, you can really personalize these homes and just make them beautiful. We take a step back off the kitchen. So with this culinary kitchen, they've opted for the double oven. So you got the built-in convection microwave and the double under the cooktop. Sometimes people will leave the standard and just go with the cabinetry below. Take a look at this KitchenAid. And you have a nice classic five burner cooktop. Love those knobs, gives it like a retro classic feel. Pop filler is optional, not included on this model. Got the KitchenAid vent hood venting out. And look how they did the full slabs on the backsplash. I really like that upgrade. It's super modern, super clean, and super dark. Here's your KitchenAid side by side. This one's actually pretty deep. Have a look. Ooh, nice closing on you. I like that they close by themselves because sometimes you might forget to close them. Mike, if you're out there, let me know. And here is your pantry, super deep, so much storage. I like this Tifton walk already. Just from the exterior, it really got me. Got this beautiful single panel, eight foot door. That's a monster. Do have nine foot ceilings, so gorgeous. Let's see if we can take a quick peek out back. 
Oh, nice. They've upgraded it with the fireplace on this one. That's a beautiful piece. Can you see that? Very cool. It's all paver stone, multiple LEDs. They've got the outdoor barbecue. Let's take a look at more of this structural option here. You know, you will get use out of it just about two months out of the year. It does get cold in the desert at night, so that's a good thing. Sit out here at night and just fire that baby up. Now, HOA is $190 a month here at Del Webb. $375 per quarter for the master. These homes do have SID payoffs, currently about 14,000. And lot sizes are about 6,000 square feet. And this one has a pretty good sized lot. There will be a wall that goes up right there as well. But this lot size is just perfect. They do have a clubhouse that they're gonna be finishing in September. It does have the two pools. It is a beautiful clubhouse. It's definitely like a resort style community when you come out here to Del Webb. They have a total of 464 total home sites here at Del Webb. And lot premiums are going anywhere from 20,000 up to 300,000. Take a look. Got the Napoleon outdoor barbecue pit, granite countertops. I love the lattice work. This fireplace definitely does set it off back here. It's such a great piece. I mean, as soon as you look out the windows, it just kind of, it complements your indoor and outdoor environment. Absolutely. Take a quick peek here on the side. We do have the 15 sear Lennox unit and more of those modern windows. Got stuccoed eaves. I love the dark stucco colors, that espresso color. And take a look how these this fireplace set up. I do like this. What a cool little way to enter. All right, now here in this cafe area, it's about 12, 11 by 13 square feet. Gorgeous windows for days. These windows just get me every single time. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the owner's suite right here in the rear of the house. 14 by 14 one. Take a look at this carpet. It's blue. I think I would not go with the blue. Looks, it looks a little bit too classic for me. Now I do want to point out that this window comes standard, but you can add the optional slider. And these these primary suites with the slider is, that's just how I have my, my house spec'd out. It is perfect. Just head out on that back patio. And then you could probably just extend the patio. I would probably build a patio cover and put the slide here and make it the patio cover go all the way above. Give me some sunshade. Take a look at this beautiful light. Interesting. Now they've got the barn style upgraded door heading into the suite. It's got the super shower zero threshold and that is a beauty. It has the rain shower, two LEDs, one large pane of glass. I know it does wrap around a little but I call it one piece. Look at this so dark wow and the stone let me get you a closer look at this stone gorgeous shower that drying bench is almost invisible i love that it looks like dark wood planks you got the modern windows above what a gorgeous shower let me just show you down here the zero threshold entry so clean what do you think? Are you going to upgrade to the super shower? I think if you upgrade the super shower, you'll never regret it. It's it's if you don't. That's the question. Got inch and a quarter here on the quartz on this side. More of the dark materials. I am a sucker for the dark materials. And you do have lots of lighting options. When you do your low voltage, you can put lighting above the mirrors. This one has the two LEDs standard. Here's the primary closet. More of that blue carpet. What a great size closet. This must be 10 by 11 square feet. And this modern window just sets it off. And your water closet. Well, what do you think about that primary suite? I like it. This house has a really cool feel to it. They got the AC cranking. I know that. All right, let's head to the front of the house. So to the left, we have our washroom straight ahead. Nice large washroom, fully involved, fully upgraded.
washer and dryer are optional. It's got the equipped sink, all standard hardware. This looks like one of their standard quartz materials as well. And all this cabinetry is upgraded, beautifully done. It's got the soft clothes. Here in the closet, we do have our smart panel as well. That's where you'll put your router and got, got the DMARC headed now. So you're gonna have a fiber cable, all your cables run, ethernet, you're all set up. Just plug, it, plug in your router in here for all your home automation. Got access to the two car garage and this cute little mud room area. It's just a little spot here, a little nook, but they've decorated it just beautifully. And here's your powder off the entry for guests pedestal sink, elongated toilet, upgraded. Right beside you got a linen closet, coat closet. Now right in the front we do have two bedrooms. Here's bedroom number two, 12 by 13, seven. Has a good feel to it. Now you can turn this into the suite. Now if I take a step back, you can turn this whole area you do have the shared bath here and then bedroom number three, but you can turn this whole area into one large suite and I think that would be beautiful. What would you do? Got the LED lights, chandelier lighting. With the nine foot ceilings, it has a good feel in here. Got a very large window looking right out through the courtyard. And it is a clear and sunny day out there. Have a look, welcome to Las Vegas. All right, so out of bedroom two, you have the shared bath. It does have the single sink option, upgraded on the cabinetry and upgraded on the shower. That's what I would do. Look at the zero threshold. Anytime I get the opportunity to do a zero threshold downstairs, I am gonna take it. Got the half inch glass, dark mowing hardware, mixed tiles with the bench. I love the bench and I love the tiles on the floor. Definitely upgrade these, don't go with the standard. If you do all tiled up, just finish it off on the bottom. I take a step out of this bath and then here's bedroom number three. Again, so if you don't do the suite, this will be here. Nine seven by 11, two square feet. It does have a little entry area, gives you a little bit extra room. Four can lights, modern fan, large window. I like that. BU, bravely. And adventure awaits. Well, what do you guys think? That's the Tifton Walk here at Del Webb, Lake Las Vegas. So far, this has got to be one of my favorites. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you liked the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.